friends, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. Today is Sunday, so Sunday, where we sew on a Sunday, where at least I inspire you to take a day of the week, Sunday, and sew. Uh, so today's video, it just says making something uh, new, different, easy for beginners. Um, I, I, I couldn't decide on what I was going to do, and then I, I need to change the title of this after the video is done. <laughs> But I decided on what I'm going to make, and today's project is so simple, anybody can do it. Seriously. And it's going to have a big effect, as in it's going to turn out big. So I have decided to make a, what I call a big block Irish chain. Like, seriously. Like, we're going to do it big blocks, and the quilt will end up 81 by 95 when it's done mm, mm. as in a big block Irish chain <laughs> and I'll be able to give you guys all the measurements and all that and then again I'll if you guys are going to follow this video I'll change the name after the so Sunday part to what I'm actually doing because I didn't know till the last minute um anyways let's see who's here today first and check people in and then I'll tell you guys everything that we're going to need for today's project do this first, oh, you're still getting so I got a postcard in the mail today, and it says Q with the view, and it has a little uh, uh, ram. Is that a ram? Yes. Okay, it has like a ram Billy or goat, a goat, goat, goat with horns on it from Sugar Sugar's Ribs Big Time Barbecue in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The person that sent me this did not sign it with their name, so I have no idea who it came from. They just said heart you. So, love you. Thanks for uh, sharing your time with us. You are a true inspiration. So, if you sent this to me, please tell me who you are because I kind of want to know who it came, know who it came from. So, thank you for the postcard. And it's from Tennessee, so I actually can add it to my. I didn't have a Tennessee one, so yeah, there, now I do. Mm -hmm. But I kind of want to know who it came from. So, if you were the one that sent this to me and you're watching the replay, please put it in the comments below after the video or let us know during this live stream. So that is put out of the way temporarily so that we can see who's here. Now do you want to see? Yeah, now there's 50 of them. It's going crazy. All right. Here for the fun is here. Uh, we got Kim, Susan, Joe, Linda. Jim is here. June, Angela, Paula. Angela, wonder what Tiffany's sewing tonight. Well, I'm going to do an Irish chain. What a big block Irish chain. <laughs> uh, we got Kathy here, Alicia, June, Faith, Carissa, Kath, Vicky, June, Katrina, Maggie, Crystal. I said Kim earlier. We got Stephanie here. Melina is here. Uh, Leanne is here, SL Frost, uh, da, 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 everyone's saying hi, I'm trying to skip that, We've got Joy here, Rowena is here, Michelle is here, Judy is here, Teresa Louise is here, Kathleen, Podunk Pretties, da, 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 da. Marty, Linda, Elaine, uh, Alma, Shelly, we see some of the videos on the home where trapped in elevators, water up to the shoulders is bad. Here we got Beverly here. Did you finish what you were working on last week? Okay, so every Sunday for the last three Sundays, I've been working on a little side project of scraps. I decided to take a break from that because that's what I'm just constantly looking at. And every now and again, it's good to try and do something different and put that one aside and do something different. So that's where my brain is right now because I can't keep looking at the same thing until I, you know what I mean, take a break from it. And while I'm breaking, I make something new. Uh, we got Nita here. And yes, okay. And then the last comment says the shirt looks great on me. So if you guys are new to my channel, you can see me make this wonderful shirt in my last video that says I feel like making a shirt. Let's make me a shirt. So, and I paired it up with a brown skirt that has ruffles on the bottom. See, 
it's got ruffles on the bottom. I could have put ruffles on the bottom of this to kind of always go with this skirt, but I use this skirt with other things. So I paired it up and it looks adorable. You're saying it looks great. It looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, and it didn't even get a chance to go through the wash because Scott hasn't done the laundry yet. So it didn't get a chance to like shrink or a little bit around my armpit area. So it kind of sticks out a little bit. Oops. Marty wants but to know if okay. you sew for others or just for yourself. Quilt wise, I make for myself and others. Uh, clothing or anything else I make for myself and bags and wallets and anything like that I make for others. So yeah, lots and lots of stuff. All right, on to today's video because I really have a lot to put together in a short period of time. Well, not really short. I could be here however long I want, but um, first off, to make a big block Irish chain, you guys know that Irish chain has nine patches that run along both ways, and you just create a chain piece, and then every other block, this is just a single Irish chain, by the way, every other block is a solid block. Simple, 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 okay? So for the one I'm making that's going to come out, 81 by 95, that's if I did my math correct, <laughs> calculator helped me on that one. Um, you're going to need a lot of fabric. The first thing you're going to need is 106 five inch squares. Technically I only need 105, but I have 106 here. Um, or just use three charm packs, three charm packs. They are five inch squares. That's why I say big block where I'm not chopping these up at all. I'm just sewing them together. So three charm packs, which are five inch squares or 105 five inch squares of your scraps or whatever you want to use. I'm using all blue. Every single one of these is blue and white, blue and white, blue and white, but mainly blue. And then the second thing you're going to need is four and a quarter yards of a coordinating color or your background color. I, that's like exact though. So if you want to get more like four and a half, I'm just going to pull four and a half off of here. That way you have plenty in case you make boo-boo cuts, but the exact amount is four and a quarter yards of fabric to go with this. And here is my diagram. I drew it on paper. I've made plenty of Irish chains, but this is a big one. So I had to actually draw it out. So I knew what I could make from exactly what I have here. So this is so simple. I'm going to show you how to make it. But first of all, we got to cut some yardage. And the first thing we need to cut is 11 five inch strips because I need 88 um, five inch squares. So we're gonna start by cutting 11 five inch strips off of my blue because again, this is a blue themed quilt. And if you guys are curious of what I'm using, just so you know, it's Studio E Fabrics. It's called, it's Peppered Cottons by Peppered Cory. It's 100% cotton. And the color is 45, color number 45. And it's a really pretty blue that looks jean-like, mm. like jeans. All right, so I'm just going to cut five-inch strips off of here. And I'm going to start by lining this up. And I'm going to cut 11 five-inch strips. Everything else I will cut later because I am not in the mood right now. We'll just cut this first. And then I'm going to grab my big ruler so that I can cut five-inch strips. I'm going to square this off first because no cut from the bolt is ever straight to start with, even if it's a fresh, brand new bolt. Like, seriously, they are never straight. So I'm going to cut this off. I'm just going to come over here so I can use my right-handed rotary blade the whole entire time. And I'm going to just cut five-inch strips. And you get eight five-inch squares per five inch strip of selvage to selvage. So I need one. Kathy says she's happy to be here. She loves watching you. You're so creative and talented in everything that you do. Two. Again, I'm cutting 11 off of here. Three. And have to count out loud or I will totally mess myself up. <laughs> Four. And I'm going to stack them as well. I'll stack them nicely to subcut after. This would be number 
Mm. Wendy asks, how was your son today? Is she talking to you? Five. Oh, yeah, L real quickly, real quickly, because a lot of pe people uh, were on T's chat last night. Um, yesterday, my son, the 16-year-old who just got his license less than two weeks ago, had a, a minor car accident. And when I say minor, as in minor, nothing happened to his vehicle. Major happened to the other people's vehicle. Uh, so he got he's in his first car accident. He's fine. She's fine. Nobody got hurt. Um, what I couldn't say because there's not enough chatting room. Uh, his damage on his car is he broke the driver's side uh, turn signal light and it cracked the bumper a little. He has a Jeep. So it's a solid vehicle, even though you would think that the, the bumper is plastic. plastic would break, but it didn't. Her car was like a 2016 to 2018 Nissan Sentra, and it crumpled in her driver's side door, blew that airbag, blew the side airbag between the two doors, and then blew the back door airbag as well. But it literally crumpled it in, like crumbled it in. So... He did some damage on her car, but it's fixable. It doesn't look total, like, like they would total it type damage, you know, but they are both okay. Nobody went to the hospital. Everything was fine. But yes, my 16 year old got into his <coughs> first light, first accident. And hopefully he now learns to drive super duper, extremely safe after we spent six months teaching him how to drive stu super safe. So there's that news. All right, back to the cutting. I was on five, right? Yeah. I have no idea. All right. I could have folded this and totally cut two at a time, but I didn't. Six. Seven. Eight. And notice I did not press this. This can just get pressed out when I put the blocks together. Well, see, yes. How are you folks? Seven, eight. Three more. How are you doing, honey? I'm doing good. I am doing fine. Wow, this is really, really wrinkled. Hold on two seconds. We have an iron plugged in. Do you want me to iron? I have three cuts left to make, and this is so crookedly messed up. Just two seconds, because i got to re-straighten my edge up after I iron this. That is way crooked. Yeah. It's weird. All right. I need to re-straighten my edge up real quick. Due to the fact that it was very wrinkled. Those other pieces I won't worry about right now. Three more cuts. And I could subcut. And then the big ones we'll do after I make all the nine patches. One more. So that was yesterday's drama. But today, my teenage son got a job. So he has that to look forward to next week. Yeah, now that his insurance is going to shoot through the roof. <laughs> yeah, now he, has, now he has a job to pay for the car insurance. <laughs> all right, now to subcut all of this up into five inch squares. And I'm just lining the salvages up by like rolling the fabric in my hand because you can see that they're like way off. I'm just going to roll it, keeping it nice and straight, but lining the salvages off so I cut it all off at the same exact time. I'm going to spin it around. I'm going to get my five inch ruler because it's exactly five inches. And all I have to do is line it up on my previous cut. And then, I don't know why I just turned the ruler around, but whatever. I'm weird. So I'm literally going to cut, bless you. Have a 
Dalton says they need to be saving up for your uh, quilt show next week. Yeah. <laughs> yep, next week we're going to do a quilt show, show slash de-stash. We'll end it. And um, while we're here, I'll let you guys know that uh, next week is starting the quilt show slash de-stash. And I'm also going to announce, I'm letting you know that I'm announcing, it's pre announced my 4K giveaway. Um, I was working on how to do it, and it's going to be an entry form that you guys will fill out. Um, it, I'll be linking it to YouTube. You know, it'll be in the, um, whatchamacallit, oh my goodness, I can't think of the word. YouTube's uh, got a community page. It'll be on my community page, my community tab. So I will have that for you guys to be able to enter my giveaway. I'm going to fix the end of this one real quick. Because of that wrinkle, it got a little fold right on the end. One, two, and three. So yeah, don't forget. So if you guys want to purchase a quilt from me, I know a lot of people say that they want to because they want something that I've made. So the de-stash is the best place to get those is when I de-stash my quilts. And there's more than what I have listed on Etsy for those of you that purchase from me. The rest of you that aren't going to purchase, there, it's just mainly to show everything I've made. You know, for those that are new to my channel and haven't seen the stuff that we do here. They will get a chance to see everything that I have, at least here at the house, that hasn't sold. I'm wondering if I could tell if there's a right or a wrong side to this fabric. They look <laughs> the same both ways, so that's a plus. Alright, one more cut from this. And again, I save all my little scrap pieces off of all this. So all this will just go in my scrap bin. All right. And now stack all these guys. And I know that I should have done the 4K giveaway right when I got to 4K, but I had to figure out how to use the um, thing that does you know, so that I can not have to write, you know, however many entries since there's more than 4K of you now. Um, I didn't want to have to write all those names down on paper <laughs> and draw it out of a bowl like I've been doing all these years. Now it's going to be digital and it's going to run through a program and choose winners for me to make it more easier. Sandra wants to know what you're making tonight. Tonight we are making a extra large, as in super uh, big block Irish chain. The most easiest quilt to possibly make is a single Irish chain, except I'm doing it with big, huge blocks. I'm just going to turn these fellers around very carefully like. Talking about your new tank top there, I'm liking it. I'm glad because I like it too. Oh, stay, don't move. You made that what Monday? Or was it Tuesday? Uh, I don't know, a couple days ago. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's cut a lot at the same time. There's going to be a uh, a couple extra blocks, but I'll just put them back in my five inch square bin where everything else came from. All right, there we go. The hard part is done. We'll cut more after I make 
all the nine patches. I think this is enough five inch squares. Look at all that. Seriously. <laughs> all right, we're gonna put this over here and we're gonna get started. close my blade, grab my squares. So what I went and did, because I want my lighter of the blue and whites to go one direction, and then the darker colors, the ones that are all darker blues mixed with whatever, they're all blues, all different shades of blue, um, to go the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do when I put these nine patches together is I'm going to take one of these and a light, and this is gonna be always in my top um, left corner. So I'm just gonna right sides together and I'm gonna sew two squares together at a quarter inch seam. Oops, and it'd be nice if I had a better stitch length. I was sewing casings on uh, for a hanging rod, kind of like curtains today. All right. So I'm literally gonna go ahead and just sew one of these so one of these over and over and over until all of these are done because my bottom right corner is also going to have one of these as well. So there's 42 of them that I've separated out for what we're going to make. Am I ironing too? Um, as soon as I sew all these oh, together. Okay. okay. I'm going to chain piece everything through and I'm just going to bring this up here like this. I'm going to leave this down here because it'll just vibrate its way off <laughs> and I'm literally just going to sew all these on. And there's two of each um, print here throughout the whole entire um, blues. This can be an all blue quilt. Literally. So my Irish chain is going to have the blues. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So I hope everybody is having a good Sunday. I am. I got lots of stuff done today. I made two um, of my things for my design, my design wall, my uh, quilt hanging photography stand. I made two uh, of them have casings so that they hang on the rod so that they don't fall off every time I remove a clamp. And then I made a table runner and that's it. That's still a lot for one day. I've been busy today. Yeah. Yep. I've been doing stuff, getting it done. And I think only like two of the prints in this whole entire thing are directional. So I'll make sure when I put um, my nine patches together that they are facing the correct direction. going to be, oops, where's the first one? Like this, that's how they're going to go. So it'll be white and then the dark color and then the white will be in the third row on the bottom. <laughs> Barbara says, wow, that's exactly what I was planning. Blue wires, chain quilts, and I'm planning on using jelly rolls. Yep, I'm doing it this way instead of the jelly roll way. In my brain, I see the jelly roll way all the time, and I'm like, what would it look like as big blocks using five inch squares? Anything bigger would be just too much, but you could also use a layer cake to do this. Just know you're gonna have a lot of extra squares because you only need three five inch, um, three. 
Okay, the word is not coming to me. Ah! Three charm packs. <laughs> Five inch square pack. Three of them. Notice I put the blue on top on that one. That's because that's a directional. So I want to make sure that that ends up in a top corner. No matter what. The rest of these don't matter which way they go. Scott's going to have a lot to press. Okay. But I sure have a lot to sew. So while I have a lot to sew, what are you guys working on? And Scott can read it out loud. We have 117 people on here. That's fine. Not everybody will comment. Marty asks, do you sew every day? Uh, I try to, but no. <laughs> there are days that I do not step foot into this room. Teresa McBurr is on. She says, I'm working on placemats. Placemats. Thank you for Fun. Yes, thank you for your package, Teresa. Trust me, I love it. I'm just getting ready to bind a quilt for her new grandson, who will be here in late September. Ooh, that's fun. Lots of babies due in September. I would Emily is working on another bag. She says she's currently obsessed. <laughs> oh, I saw the in your on your Instagram the Patula fabrics. Uh, I'm quilting a king size denim quilt. Teresa says you're welcome. Alicia says, "Do your eyes ever get tired from sewing so much?" Yes. It does take breaks a lot. Yes, they do get tired, as in. Like, they literally start doing this in my head. <laughs> and I can't focus. <laughs> so I take lots of breaks. It's best to take breaks, too. Get up, stretch, stretch your legs, stretch your arms. Do a couple squats, get some exercise and done. Joe's going to walk more of the dress then. And should one start her next quilt? Okay. Could one is that Caitlin or something? Huh? Could one? I don't know. Isn't that Joe's the little one that likes you? Yeah. Yeah, what's her name? Blue Riley. Oh, I don't know what she means by could one. That's a way spell off. I don't know. Uh, Mary almost finished a quilt for Alaska, but her hands are turned and she had to quilt before I got the borders on. She had to quit before she got the borders on. Who's working on supper? No sewing. Here for the funds, working on a fall quilt full of pumpkins. Oh, I did one of those and I sold it pretty quickly, actually. Memoirs is working on the Aragoda Challenge and cutting fabric for the Orbital Quall by Geeky Bobbins. Sounds interesting. Chris is having a volume problem. She says she can't hear anything, even with the volume all the way up. Uh, leave the video and then come back to it. But if you can't hear me, I don't know how you would know. I just said that. <laughs> Sorry. Best way to fix any problem during a live stream is to leave the video and come back to the video. Like literally exit out and then go back to my page and restart it over again. Tanya made a hubby a nightstand table topper, and Ooh. she had leftovers to make him a placemat. That works. Sean's working on a quilt for her aunt, a scrap quilt with pink roses, tea pots, and green. She got her granddaughter's sundress done. Now cleaning up, finding my cutting table. <laughs> Man, it got deep. <laughs> I'm cleaning everything else. That's funny. Anne's working on an NCW. Jim's working on a pizza. My kind of man. There you go, Jim. 
Sounds good, buddy. That sounds yum. You know what? I might just have that for dinner because I bought what is a Red Baron, right? Yes, you got a little Red Baron pizza. I bought myself a little Red Baron pizza when I went to the grocery store yesterday because I just, I can't have, I shouldn't eat pizza at all because not only is the cheese bad for me because I'm lactose intolerant, but uh, tomato sauces, tomato paste, tomato anything really upsets my stomach, but every now and then I cheat. Also using five inch squares. Awesome. Paul is cutting the selvage edges off two packs of jelly rolls. Uh, jelly roll race. Ben or Patricia is uh, getting Christmas quilting in the future. Question: Yes, Ben, are you doing any Christmas quilting in the future? Uh, no. I don't have anything Christmassy. I don't really, okay, so those of you that are new to my channel and don't know, I actually don't do any holiday uh, stuff, but I did, for Halloween, bought a uh, layer cake to make something for Halloween. So normally I don't use, I have a box um, with a little bit of holiday fabrics in it and usually any scraps that are, holiday. when people send me scraps, if it's holiday related, of any type of holiday, whether it be Christmas, Thanksgiving, any, you know, Halloween, anything, I just stick it in that box. And then one day, I think I'm just going to make an all holiday quilt with all those scraps. <laughs> Some of them get mixed in my strings and stuff, though. Uh, Quilty Graham is working on a rail fence for one of her grandkids. Ooh. Susan is hand quilting. Someday I'm going to do that, too. All right, Mr. Scotty, press them all. Eric wants to know. He says, "I see a bunch of squares. I'm guessing an Irish chain." Yep, but a big block Irish chain. All right, press all these towards you said the dark. Something for me to show you. Darlene's right. uh, working on posted stamp blocks, one and a half inch squares from some of my first quilts. I had put it always away and just got back to it. That's fun. I'm gonna sew now all these to these because either way I still need a blue a dark blue next to this. Feisty lady is seam ripping men's ties. Lots and lots of ties. We did lots of seam ripping, but we never seam ripped the ties before have we? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna sew all of these, I'm just gonna sew forty two of them. Yeah. And then I'm going to, once he's done pressing those, I'll attach one of these to the opposite side. For now, I'm just going to get the middles started. Okay, what did you say? How are you, am I pressing Press those? Press them to the dark. Always towards this dark blue. Ooh, long arm, huh? So that's the only machine I could think of with a frame that you got to put together. Probably, yeah. I have no idea how many I've sewn already, but I will stop after. A little bit in count. Your thread is all over that. Am I supposed to be pulling these off the wall? Nope, just leave them. Leave them there. This one's got butterflies on it. Tippy loves butterflies. You know, I never really ever make all one color tone quilts and this is all blues so it's going to be weird Teresa Louise is working on a cross stitch with lots of houses oh that same one you've been working on that's cool i still don't know how to do that i did one thing when i was um 19 years old because I had just had Lexa and I was pregnant with Damon and I made Alexa a little jar and it said I love you and it had a little character and I just 
stuck the thread in and followed it. To this day, I still don't know how I did it, and I don't even know what happened to that little jar. Mary's raising swallowtail caterpillars in her garden. I don't know what that is, but I imagine they turn into a pretty butterfly. Yeah. count these and when I get to um, that's good to hear Sarah one two three four five six oops um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one I needed twenty one one. You want me to count all these? Is that what you're getting? No, at? that one I needed the 42. One, two, yeah, there's more than 21. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 nine catches. I had to count one more time just to make sure. So 21 nine catches. So I only need 21 of the middle unit. I should have known that with 42 being the with the white <laughs> in the top so before I even um, send these over to Scott because he's still pressing I am now going to add another of my blue this blue to the opposite side of this because these are my middle block so now I'm just going to open it up And put a blue on the opposite side because my middles are the dark fabric. Pretty sure this will go together pretty quickly. Seeing that all it is is nine patches and solid blocks, which you can applique on those solid blocks if you want, you know, for something like this, because they will be 14 inch um, blocks. So you can like applique something on them. I don't have anything for applique, so what I'm going to do when I quilt this quilt is quilt something fancy in all of the blocks. Should be fun though. I've never really made a very large, big block Irish chain. So this is definitely so simple for beginners. This is probably one of the easiest things you can do. Oops, that way. That way could be. <laughs> That's cool. I use my TV in my bedroom to watch some videos on YouTube, but usually I use my phone or tablet when I watch other YouTubers. I'm the moderator on a lot of channels, so it's easier just to have the something I can type with, you know, the phone or whatever, so that the 
chat screen is up on the TV, it doesn't come up. You can, there's an option on some Roku TVs where you can bring the chat up while on the TV, but you can't type into it. You can only read it. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Susan says, uh, the last time I made an Irish chain quilt, I quilted a Celtic knot in the blank areas. That sounds like a good idea. Yep. If I can figure one out, I will probably do something like that. And Eric says, I made a really big, uh, somewhat of an Irish chain. It's actually too big for his frame, so right now he just uses it to hurt his long arm. <laughs> that works. Uh, Carissa asks, how big will yours be? 81 by 95. Don't be a big dog. Don't be a big one, and that's not even with any borders. I may put a two and a half inch, since I have lots of that blue left of this blue, just a two and a half inch all the way around, and maybe find a, make it really, really big by finding another blue fabric that I have, because any blue goes, and do a final like four inch border all the way around. And then it'll be an enormous quilt, which is what I always make, queen size or bigger. On my tutorials, I always like screw up and end up with really big quilts, even when I tried for a small one. So I'm sorry for that, guys. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just like big quilts and I cannot laugh. <laughs> Actually, I'm just horrible with math, but the math on this one I did like 10 times. It should be accurate. I don't know, big quilt, big quilt size. Yeah. People like to buy queen size quilts from bed beds. Yeah. The Actually, the most purchased quilt from me is bed size quilts, twin, full, queen, and king. Not very many people, unless you guys are purchasing from me or other people like just want something for their couch, it's usually big ones. The lap quilts and smaller is not really often, and then baby quilts is a very often one too. Okay, well, once again, Ben wants to know about your uh, Ferris wheel and clamps, mainly just the clamps, but tell them the whole ordeal. This is for binding. It's called a binding wheel. You can get it at purplehobbies.com. It hooks to the ironing board. So hold on, let me unscrew it a little bit so you can see. Oh. So this goes on here and it hooks to an ironing board and for this desk right here on the side when the they binding is the on Ferris it. Wheel already with yeah. some other stuff, but they're wondering what the clamp is. You, the clamp is to hold it right here so that you slide your two and a half inch strip up under this lip up into the slot that's in it and then you would roll it up that's the weirdest thing that just ever happened in here what so a purse that um is weird. and as you're ironing it you iron some roll some up iron some roll some up and it'll go up under here so it keeps it nice and flat and then when i'm done with it on the ironing board i do the same clasping right like this on this side and i tighten the clasp down and then my i pull my binding off and just pull it onto the quilt as needed. That way it keeps it completely off the floor. Podunk, the whole thing was a gift from Sobeka. Yep, she sent it to me. But you can buy it the same place that Ben already put in here at uh, purple, whatever, purple what? Purplehobbiesllc.com. I don't know if you have to add the LLC, just Purple Hobbies, the binding wheel. If you just type that in, I'm pretty sure a ton of it will well, come they're up. asking about the clamp. Maybe it doesn't come with the clamp. Maybe you have to buy that somewhere. Ah, uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know because it was, Podunk was asking where'd you get the clamp? Sent to me by Becca, so I don't know. I figured it all went together because it's all the same color and it came from in the Okay, all of my middles are made. So the wheel came in this and the clamp came in this. It also comes from purplehobbies.com. It's called wheel clamp. So I guess you have to buy it separately. I don't know why you would have to. They're designed and manufactured in California, so it's yeah. I think you have to buy American it separately made. because Podo got one, and yeah, it wasn't uh, the clamp. Didn't yeah, it's come called with it. the wheel clamp. All right, so all my centers are now made. Aunt Teresa says it all goes together. Yeah. Anyway, Heather says she's still sewing fabric blocks together. She made three blocks out of the scraps yesterday. Awesome. 
Which are Australian headliners. All right, so here's all my James centers. Klein likes your uh, tank top. <laughs> Thank you. I made it, and it's in a video from the other day. It's probably the video before this video because I haven't been on since I made the shirt, I don't think. I'm going to pre-press these with my pressing thing before Scott irons them. Like I said, this is going to go together so fast, and with Scott helping me iron, it goes even faster. So all he'll have to do is put some heat on these. So that they stay laying flat and this little wood um instead of using your finger this little wood press you can find um on tquilts.com she sells these and matching uh seam ripper stiletto combos if you want a combo you can just buy this alone too they are custom made here in america for those that are americans and care about that well, yeah, Eric, if you just type in wheel clamp, I know what a wheel clamp is for a car. You're going to have to type in more The Purple that. Hobbies. You're going to have to type in Purple Hobbies yeah, He wheel Googled clamp. wheel clamp and it took him to a car thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're probably going to have to type in the Purple Hobbies. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, bud. You're going to have to be more specific if you're just putting it in Google. Uh, Bernie asked, uh, will you put the numbers uh, for this quilt on Facebook? Yeah, I'll put them on Facebook. And then I'll also uh, change, like I said, I got to change the title and description of this video. But um, just so that you guys know, three charm packs, you'll have some leftover, some pieces left over, because you need just 105 technically. I pulled out 106, just in case I was off, but I don't think I am. <laughs> uh, Pieces, you'll need 105 five inch squares or three charm packs. And then um, 88 of these squares, technically 88, 84 technically, because I have four left right here. Um, but I cut out 88 because that's how much you get from 11 five inch strips. In total, you need. Um, just to do the five inch strips, you need 55 inches of fabric. <laughs> yes, Podunk, you can share it. And or to, for everything else, for the next step, which is cutting the background um, pieces for the big squares, um, those are going to be 14 inch squares, and you need 98 inches for that. In total, you need, um, what did I say already? Uh, four and a quarter yards of fabric total. And then obviously your three charm packs. You can share any codes for getting money off to help people out because we like discount codes. Yeah. So by all means, if you have a discount code for the purple place, whatever, share it. Apparently, we just helped their sales. We should be a representative for them. <laughs> yeah, there's not very many people that have any. I don't have very many options for affiliate accounts with the affiliate account thing that I have. I need to choose more because nobody's buying anything from my Sewing Machines Plus account. And I found out that they are low on funds anyway. So I need to find more places. And Amazon takes too long to set up. And I don't really buy much on Amazon. So having an Amazon account would be weird for me. Jeanette asks, is this denim? Uh, no, it looks like it, but it's not. It's Studio E Fabrics Color Number 45. I think that's what, what it said. I, am I ironing these? Yes. Okay. I'm just pre-pushing them down for you. Yeah, I'm just ironing them as they are, right? Yep. Okay. Just make sure they stay nice and flat. I just got to sew to the opposite side real quick on the rest of those other pieces, on the 42 ones with the white in the corner. Uh, here for the fun ask, do you have other quilting YouTubers you recommend? I'm recently retired and find I enjoy watching videos while crafting. I recommend, first off, Teresa Louise is here. So it's Teresa Louise I Quilt too. She is in the chat, so she could put her link to her channel. You can go over there and subscribe. Also, so Becca, she's probably not here because Scott hasn't said her name and he usually announces it out loud if Becca's in here. <laughs> so, so Becca is another one. <laughs> And you can either type that into the Google search or one of my moderators can put a link to her channel in there. 
I also love tea from Tea Quilts as well. So you can go to Tea Quilts on YouTube or again, my moderators can, one of them can start throwing in links for tea. I also love Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. Um, again, that can be added in. And those are my main ones that I watch that are quilting related. Um, there is a lot more. Um, I literally have so many channels that I watch, but those are my the go-to channels to watch. And anyone that's a quilter on here that has a channel is allowed to put it on, like Eric. Eric oh, and Eric channel. Oda, I'm doing a sew along with him too. I always forget because he's a new channel now and just started putting videos. You but Eric Oda has a channel too, and he's a he's a moderator, channels. so he can put it in as well. All right, here's the rest of these. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to sew the opposites to this now. Uh, Podunk says if you email her, she'll give you a code to share. Let her know you use and love the wheel. That she chose not to be an affiliate, but I guess you can be. Is it a purple oh, okay. thing? All you gotta do is email her. All right, so now I'm gonna add a it's dark blue to, know, Podunk, to the opposite side of all 42 of these. Literally, it goes so fast. Fast enough where I'm pretty sure I will have this whole entire quilt made in one video today. Ellen, if Ellen is here, she yeah. does have Ellen, a channel too. Ellen, you can too. post your channel on here. I just saw her. She said something like that. You guys are allowed to give yourself a shout out. We don't mind. We support all fellow quilters. Yep. All the channels. And if you are a channel and you, you got to let everyone know when you are and you didn't hear your name out there from my favorites, it's not because I don't like it. It's because I, I literally spend all day every day on YouTube. If you don't believe me, ask him. He gets mad. <laughs> Not mad, but bored because he has nothing else to do besides watch TV. So I have to stop YouTube completely and all of my favorites so that I could sit and watch movies and hang out with my husband. You don't have to. I'm used to it now. I used to get mad at you. I'm used to it now. You watch it while we're watching movies. Yep. So don't tell him that. <laughs> don't make up stuff. You watch tea while we're watching movies. I mainly watch tea. Well, move, well, no, Becca's on when she's on her yep, Friday nights. Becca. I watch Becca because it's a multitasking Friday night. Donna Jordan. <laughs> yeah. For big channels, you can go to Missouri Star Quilt Company, Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Uh, it would be Jordan Fabrics. That's just the person. Uh, Donna Jordan is the yeah. owner slash video, video person. She's a me. <laughs> Jean, yes. Yeah, you watch her too. You watch yep. all these people. I do. There's a quilting marine. We can't and forget there's him. Mark with him. the quilting marine. Yep, he's my buddy. There's so yeah. The so yeah, yeah. guys. They yeah, Mark was on rotate. so yeah the other night. Mm -hmm. The so yeah guys rotate with tutorials, but they have bee stash nights. Last night was the first time I got on a bee stash night in like I don't know eight weeks or more. Oh, and then I ended up having to leave. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many channels. So many. Well, Ellen, you're going to have to tell Teresa whenever you're like, you can post it for you or Kim or somebody. Because I don't know how to do that. And plus, I'm busy ironing. So even yeah. if I did. Scott doesn't know how to do that yet. You know, I, I got to, you guys got to remind me. Teach Scott how to do that stuff. He can't from there, though, because I actually don't have any other thing besides YouTube on there, so he can't, like, go for links for, like, the yeah, Facebook group. Yeah, I can't group. do it on this device. It's quite old, but for devices anything. have issues. It's one of the few that still works. So, for those that are also new, I do have a Facebook group, so you could post and share pictures of, and ask for opinions and or whatever um, of the things that you're working on in the group. It's in the description below. I also have Instagram. Here, you guys can follow. Well, Fix that. Uh, it's if it's, if you press it, I'll square it off in the end. It's fine. Yeah, I did press it. It's already pressed, but look at how it has a big. Yeah, it's just because of the when I cut the fabric, it wrinkled. Remember? How big you 
have another one too. If there's one, I said I'd fix them as I'm sewing. Okay, okay. Then Did you see, you see that? I just accidentally slid the ruler off of this. <laughs> It's a good thing I have carpet, or else it probably would have broke. Earlier today, speaking of carpet, um, I dropped my thing right here. This went flying over here into this corner and scattered my pins everywhere. Everywhere. And because I have carpet, if the pins fall downward, they go into the carpet. They will go in and you have to look for the top some of them just sit there but i have this little thing it's a magnet inside here from i don't even know where it came from but it probably find something like this at harbor freight and i just take the magnets that are in here and rubbed it along the carpet and then took off all those pins put them in the container rub this along the carpet again took all the pins off put it in the container until they were all cleaned up so that way i don't step on them because like you guys and me, we all walk in our rooms barefooted. So, yeah, I didn't want to step on any pins. They went flying, flying, though. Not just any flying. I accidentally had the thing right here, and I was making something, and I went click, and it went flung. It hit the wall, and they just everywhere. And I'm pretty sure I got them all. Thanks to the magnet. I'm just now finishing. I, there's not very much left to go here. And then all I have to do is sew the sets of three together. We're only making 21 um, nine patches. I almost said four patch before I said nine. That's how much I'm thinking. <laughs> like my border idea so I am going to dig through this room I have tons of different blues what's your border idea to put a border on so a small border a small border of that and then uh, find another blue and do a big border all the way around oh. not big but like four inches or five oh, inches. Right <laughs> that way this will be a 100% queen size quilt when it's done I can get back to reading. Yep. A little bit more to go. Actually going to break some of these off here so Scott can start pressing these. Oh, I just sat down plugged in. Yeah. I know. Well, it has to stay plugged in, or else you say I can't put another plug over there. Press them towards the dark again. So just do it like this, this way. <laughs> Anita says you're wearing the tank top you made. How cute. Yep. Do you know how many actual people suggested to me via messenger and or comments you should wear that on so Sunday. So I did. <laughs> SL asks, is there a reason that you don't make strip sets and make your nine patches out of them? Because these were five inch squares since I'm making big blocks. If I was to do it with two and a half inch strips, that's the way I would do it. Amelia likes your tank top also. And for those that didn't see in the beginning, I matched it with a now covered in dust, or I mean, thread a uh, brown skirt with ruffles on the bottom. It's cute. All right, can you start pressing these to the dark, please? Yeah, can you? I just plugged it in. Yep. Yeah. Wait, you told me I was done. The thing will die. <coughs> Uh, 
Saint Teresa for doing all this for everybody and trying to type. And if you guys know um, Becca, actually on Becca's website, um, we just Google so Becca, it comes up to her website. She actually has a list on her website of favorite channels and pretty much all of her favorites are my favorites because they're all quilting related. And every time someone finds a really good one, a new really good one that nobody has on that list, she'll add it to the list. Just have to comment in the comment section because there's a comment section of the list. But Jake Finest, did you make a skirt too? No, I had the skirt. I usually pair it with. Um, I have another shirt that has browns in it, and I usually pair this skirt with it. But now I can pair it with this tank top too. And Alicia asks, "Is this quilt for someone?" Nope. This will probably go in my for sale quilt when I finally do quilt it. Yep. You'll see all of them next week, but this one probably won't be in next week. No, nope, I probably won't get to quilt it. I have some client quilts I got to get done. My new thing is I quilt one of my quilts, I quilt a client quilt. I quilt one of my quilts, I quilt the client quilt. That way mine get done too because they're just like hanging there. Some I have to wait a while on because I need 108 or bigger backing for them because they're some of them are like one, uh, one of them is 112 by 124. It's super huge, so if I need 108, and then I need to border the 108. Just however they land, because you didn't press these for me. Towards the dark, please. Oh, uh, they're all dark. They're towards the dark. They're blues together. Towards the middle blue. Okay, so towards the middle. Yep. I'm literally almost done. Now I gotta start pulling them together, and that's it. And then the cutting. And then the layout. Okay, Klein figured you would make a pair of shorts since you said you never made them. Um, I can actually take a pair of jean shorts that I have and then the last of this fabric. And um, I was kind of thinking because the last of this fabric, there's about, I don't know, eight or ten inches of it. I was thinking about hemming the bot one part of it and doing a ruffle skirt around a pair of jean shorts just chopping the shorts part out and making a skirt like i had when i was a kid that my mom used to make me in the 80s <laughs> it won't be a very long skirt though it'll be like a mini skirt <laughs> And I don't know if that really goes with the style of the tank top. There's also enough to where I can probably just make a headband, maybe like a like a tie for my head to go with it. And Molly and says just that's an adorable idea. I have a ton of shorts because I, I don't like short shorts. I've never really been a short shorts kind of person. I like shorts that go almost to my knees. <laughs> So, I was thinking taking one of the pair of short shorts because there's not much to cut off and I've always wanted to turn them into a pair of jean skirt, short skirt, skirt type deal like my mom made me when I was a kid. I just never done it. And there may or may not be enough of this fabric to do that with. Yeah, it's not a moderator. I can make a moderator. Dad moderator. Oh, yeah, do that. I thought he was. I thought we did that last time. Do you want him to be on? Yeah. Click on the button and see. Yep, there you go. Now it says you're a moderator, Eric. See, I can do that from this thingy, but I can't do links because this tablet doesn't have that ability. So you can teach me whatever you want, Teresa, when you come down, but I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> Unless you buy me a new device. But I honestly wouldn't like that because then I'd have to learn how to use it. And I already know how to use this tablet. So honestly. <laughs> he didn't want to learn his new phone. I still don't want to learn my new phone. I still listen to music on my old phone. Because my headphones don't attach to my new phone.
giving these like a pre-press so that I can get done. Okay, now you got Eric has a monitor, and I got a whole bunch of monitors. Who else wants to be a moderator? Emily, you want to be a moderator? <laughs> Doesn't need that many more. I'm just joking. Ah, you know, I mean, whatever if they want to, but we need somebody who knows get, how to do Teresa's stuff when I she's don't not get, here, um, since nobody knows how to. Do I don't that. get spam, so I mean, I have a few times gotten some weird creeps that say weird stuff but it's very rare that it happens on my channel well, don't say that it'll happen yeah it's happened before where would you say oh no way these dragonflies on this one that is awesome that's the first dragonfly patch i saw that's well awesome. that's because all the fabrics there's only two of each fabric that one's awesome all right, these are all pressed. So here's the outsides. Here's some of the top, like this. And then the others, once they're done, you'll be finished. Yeah, we'll finish sewing. I can't. Well, there's not enough. I guess I could start sewing some of these together. And then the bottom is just this. Again, like this. Except my lights. Oh, he's messed up my light pile. What did lights, I do wrong? Lights, light. What that's did I do dark, wrong? That's light. I'm just ironing them in the order you gave them to me. They're all in one pile. Lights, lights, like that. And this is a light. That was a light. This was a light. I gotta have that up there because that is actually. All right, and that's the lights. So I'm putting. Like this. No, like this. Sorry. So it's dark, 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 light, light. Hopefully it turns out like my head sees it. So I'm just going to sew a bunch of these together. This was a directional fabric, so that's why. Let's see. It, there's two of these. I think it's the only two that's directional. I'm going to make sure that they land in a certain spot. Every single time. And then once this block is together, if your quarter inch seam is accurate, the block should end up 14 inches. And I'm just making sure that my seams are nesting. I'll throw that up there because that's just like making its way. So let me put another one on here so that you can see. Just going to finger press for now. Probably be better if I use that because I'm hurting my finger. My fingers are a bit on the sensitive side today. All right, and then this is going to go on this well, side. Chip, you don't have to finish it tonight. Oh, Teresa McRear asked. <laughs> using the red snappers. If I did a video? No, if you would do one. She says, I know that they are a lot. Yeah, I thought I've already I, done one. I thought I already did one. Would you do another one? I yes. can do another one and just call it exactly that, loading a quilt with the red snappers. I've done it in quite a few of the... Um, well, you can just do a short one. Yeah. Eight minutes and just showing that. Yeah. All right, so here, oh, let me show you guys. Hold on, Here's, real quick, Crystal asks, how have you been feeling? Uh, my stomach still hurts. Uh, my stupid uh, HIDA or HIDA scan or whatever it's called got denied. So this week I go to my gastro doctor. and next week. I Or next week I go to my gastro doctor. I'm going to totally fix everything from there on. So that way this can get figured out and, and fixed because I'm really, really tired of having super horrible stomach aches. Well, we have bad insurance, too. The insurance denies everything. Yep. All right. I'm just going to continue showing these on. I'm almost done with this pile now. Do I have more over there to iron? Huh? Do I have more over there to iron? Yeah, right there on the edge. 
This stack? Yep. This stack's the stack I did. No, it's not. I just fingered those with this. I thought this was the stack that I was adding on to. I put some on this stack. Oh, so no. some of these have been ironed then. And some haven't. <laughs> yes, it's took this stack that I have here and I added it to that stack. So half this stack is done, but I'll redo it. <laughs> all right. This side, and since my seams are all always going towards the blue fabric, that makes it super easy for everything to mess up and line up wonderfully. And I shouldn't be making one block at a time, but that's kind of how it's going right now. Here's another block. I had one square left. I only used 105. Like I counted. So, Tony likes the blue fabric. Teresa. I don't know uh, what it is today. My fingers are like. likes the blocks don't like the feel of fabric today which is kind of weird because we all love the feel of fabric but today i my fingers do not teresa she already answered that she said she would she just got done talking about it did you not hear oh making a work video yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i will And since these blocks are going uh, in a quilt next to a big block that's 14 inches all on its own, it actually does not matter which way the final seams are pressed because none of these are going to be next to a seam. There'll be no more seams to line up. Oh, Michelle likes the fact that I iron for you. Gives you more yeah. sewing time. Thank you, Michelle. He only irons when we're on live stream. Uh, no, I don't. Sometimes he irons off live stream. Sorry. I but ask you ten way. times a day if you need help, if I can do anything. So don't give me that. I usually say no. All right, I'm just going to continue sewing one of these to each of these for now because and then I'll add the next ones. Once I run out, that'll be all 21 pieces. Because I prefer to chain piece. Do I got more to iron yet? Yeah. Huh? Where? You can iron these flat, I guess, once you're done with the rest of all yeah, that. Yeah, well, I got like four more here. You want me to do the real big ones is what you're doing? No, you don't have to right now. Come on, get off. There you go. Okay. 
Just a whole lot of blue. Blue. Lots of blue. <laughs> and I went through like five different blues for my background. Until I settled on this one. Because it looks jean-like. Those that are new to my channel, no, I don't pin anything. It's rare I pin. I did pin stuff earlier today because I was making casings. But... Barbara says, Tiffany, I love your show. Thank you. I love it too because I love hanging out with you guys. That's why I like live streams. When I just make a video, just to make a video, I feel like I'm talking to myself and... It's definitely weird. Did we get one from the other? What you're saying? Yeah. Margaret asks, what are the block sizes? They will be 14 inches when done. They were five inch squares to start. I'm making 21 nine patches. And then after these are all made, while the pressing is happening, then I will cut out the 14 inch squares that, like I said, you can applique so that they're not so plain. I'm just going to do them plain so that I can have fun quilting in the emptiness. Because we all like an empty block for quilting when you're long arming. Plus, everything goes together so fast when it's this big. And I do have a video on how to make the regular two and a half size single iris chain as well with the two and a half inch square. I actually haven't even quilted that yet. It was done in flannel and I haven't even quilted it yet. But I have backing for it now, so it's on the it will get done sooner or later pile. But it's all cat fabric. <laughs> See the top you made looks good. And flannel. Cat fabric and flannel. It's gonna be so fun when I finally finish it. Yes, I'm talking to myself. Oh, okay. I designated certain ones to all be for the light pile. What 
days and times are you live? I am definitely on every Sunday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And then the rest of the week is and the whenever. Rest, the rest of my live streams and or uploads, they're all just whatever, whenever I feel like it. I need to make a new intro video to my channel that lets all those people know that I'm a whatever I feel like kind of person. I am not a scheduled person. I don't do schedules at all. I never have anything really ever planned. I'm kind of just a random person. I mean, random project kind of person. That's the word. I am a random person, but I am also... <laughs> or in a project person. I don't do plans for anybody that's curious. I don't do plans or schedules because I have MS and a bunch of other medical problems. So I never know when I'm going to feel good. And if I keep scheduling things, what if I don't feel good and everybody's looking forward to it and I just, you know, don't go on. So I just stick with Sunday only. That's the only day that I can actually come on and keep that schedule because I've been doing it every day for over two years I mean, every, every week for over two years yeah. now all right now I'm going to add these to the opposite sides for a while there she was trying to come on every day but that uh, that only lasted a week or two <laughs> stick those over there because now I'm gonna separate and open these this and then without even pressing I'm just going to add to the opposite side which is my light colored light blues in the bottom corner there in the top corner here bottom corner there it's the ones I designated as the lighter colors because I really didn't have that many really, really lights with blue in them. Either way, the quilt will be nice when I'm done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start adding these. And then I'll have all 21 blocks made. And I put a fresh bobbin in, that's the only reason why I'm still going. <laughs> and I haven't had to change my bobbin like usual. I always run out. This time, I have a fresh one. So no running out right away. It should be soon though. It's been going for a while. says hi Alex. He says I see Tiffany is sewing up a storm. You go girl. Yep. Kylie. Sorry not Riley. Kylie Ritchie. <laughs> mm. 
Michelle asks, what Juki do you have? The Juki TL 2010Q. What is it like to use? Huh? What is it like to use it? Do you like it? Oh, I love it. It's easy, it's fun, it's fast. It's an easy machine. It's only straight stitch, though, for those of you interested in a machine like this, it only does straight stitch. So you can free motion quilt on it because it's straight stitch. But if you need zigzags or anything like that, this machine will not do that. But if you like fast and going fast, and you can piece as fast as me like this, then this is the machine for you. There's other models, obviously. There's a brother version, and then there's a Janome version. And there's a baby locker version, actually, too, I think. I don't know the name of that one, though. I think the brother is like 1100 PQ something like that, or PQ 1100, I think. And then the Janome is also something with a one. I don't know. I know some of you probably have it, though. Eric says a baby lock gag. Baby lock jazz goes fast. I guess. I have to be about that. Baby lock jazz. Hmm. I don't know. I know that the machine that's behind me is slow. So I prefer this machine. Teresa and all says, that talking about it, I ran out. <laughs> Teresa says the baby lock one is the accomplished. And this time I pre-rolled bobbins. <laughs> I had plenty of time to get ready for today's live stream if you didn't know. Usually I'm like 30 minutes before I start getting ready, but this time I actually did everything in advance. I just didn't change the name of this video in advance. Instead, I had to get rid of the no commenting thing because it was weird at first. years and she recently started sewing with cold leather making handbags and watching you makes her want to do the quilt again. She's Aww. a new subscriber. So awesome. thank you for subscribing, Kelly. Well, welcome to my craziness. <laughs> I'm literally like all over the place. I can't help it, guys. I have ADD. My YouTube channel should be the ADD. <laughs> it's only quilting ADD, though. I believe Michelle's asking, is your semi-industrial? Yes. Yep. It's a semi-industrial machine. I've made bags on it. I've sewn uh, through uh, vinyl with it. I tried to sew through eight layers. Yeah, eight layers of vinyl, but it doesn't go that that much. <laughs> it goes through about six, eh, four at the most. Um, some vinyls are thicker than others. So I should specify marine vinyl. It's pretty thick. I think you're ringing. Yep, I hear it. Scott's leaving to answer the phone for a second, but he'll be back to read comments. All right, two more blocks to put together, and then I could start cutting the background ones. 
And or my every other block piece. So I should have 21 nine patches in total. And then I'm going to cut out my backgrounds, which will be 14 inch blocks. But we're going to make sure, for a fact, I kept a good quarter inch seam. So I'm pretty sure I will be where I need to be. Yes, I know I can use my cutting gizmo, but um, these are bigger than the small pieces. Before I start pressing some of these, let's make sure that this came out 14 inches. Exactly 14 inches. So I'm going to cut my back pieces to be 14. So here we go, Mr. Scotty, some more for you to press. Okay. Well, you're going to have to wait. You just have to go in the comments and I'll start. Becca's on now. Everybody's talking. Hi, Becca. Okay, I can iron. Okay. I'm just doing the big ones again. Yep. I'm going to keep these out of the way, though, because I need to cut some fabric. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, seven 14 inch strips. I know you're like, what? Yep, we're only going to cut seven. This is why we needed four and a quarter yards. That's if your cutting is accurate. Uh, if your cutting isn't as accurate, just get four and a half yards. And if you're going to do a border like I think I may do, then get um, five yards. So you could probably do this with five yards from a five yard cut from the So Yeah guys if you buy on their thing. And then it won't be plain fabric either. You'll have some uh, kind of print or something fabric. All right, so I'm going to come over to 14 and I'm going to cut seven of these because I'll get three 14 inch squares per strip. Becca wants to know, is this quilt for me? She asked. No. It's going to be a sale quilt, Becca. Sorry. I'm just going to put it for sale. So there's one. I'm just going to let it fall on the floor. And I'm just going to keep unrolling and lining up. We are doing our quilt show, though, next weekend, Becca. And we're going to do the 4K giveaway, finally. Yeah, it took me forever to figure out how to do that computery stuff. For the 4K giveaway. Oh, she says the answer is it could be. Yeah. Okay, then. There you go. That's a very good answer. All right. There's two. So, yeah, didn't Becca help you to learn how to do the thing for the giveaway? Yeah. So, so yes. I'm... Hopefully, Tiffy has learned it. <laughs> I'm using the lines on my mat. Angela asks, what are you cutting now? I'm cutting my background squares, which are the big emptiness on my little chart here. So the empty spots, like I said, you can applique something there or whatever. I'm just going to quilt something there when I get to the long arm finally. Oh, and my thing started going crooked already. I'm going to line it up. Straighten it back up again. It happens with yardage. It'll start going wonky. I don't mean for it to happen. It just happens. Line it back up again because it kind of decided it wanted to try to move away from me. 
decided. Yep, it decided it wanted to move away. Sometimes that happens too because we're not perfect. I forgot what number I was at. One, two, three, four. So I need to cut three more. A lot of yardage, like I said. Oh, you almost have 180 people on auction. Holy moly, that's a lot. Five and two more. Angela says you get so much done. I wish I could sit at my sewing machine for longer periods of time. Yeah. It's just so happened to be two pieces on the bolt and this next piece I'm gonna have to iron that up because I'll be able to get the last cut from that. Tiff has plenty of down days and she takes plenty of rest. She doesn't do it all at once. Go ahead. All right, we're gonna press this real quick to get my last cut. Can I borrow that for a second, yeah. please? Yeah. She's amazingly talented, that is true, but she does take time off. That is why I have random videos at random times. And you guys, beware your dogs right now. Squeak. Kylie asks, how big will the finish top be? 81 by 95. And that's before I add the borders, because I'm going to add borders. For a fact, I think. Sorry, Squeak needed to make some noise, but I needed to flatten this piece out. And that stayed pretty darn straight on that side. No trim needed. All right, we're going to cut this at 14 again. Right there. Right there. Okay, can I keep ironing now? Yeah. And then this last piece is going to go in my scrap string bin, so I'm going to just pre-cut it well, to whatever, um, one and three quarters it looks like, nope, yep, this one was iron, yep, yep, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, all right, so that could just go on my strings. Marge says your top looks cute. Thank you. All right, now to take all of these pieces and open them up and stack them on top of each other so we could subcut 14 inch um, squares. So I'm literally going to just, and I know a couple of them will have this fold, but when I iron it, it'll go away. So we're just going to stack them all. Ellen says uh, she loves to watch you, you uh, sew. It teaches her how to make full quilt in a week. With chain stitching, it works. <laughs> yep. I'm just going to stack all of them at the same time. Because I'm confident of cutting through seven layers of fabric. So much we've cut. I'm going to straighten them all up in a second. They won't be this wonky. Fourteen, fourteen is twenty-eight, right? Yes. Okay. Sorry, that way I don't have to do an adjustment and just count over the next number. So I'm lining them all up now, <laughs> nicely. Or Jess, is that a denim you're using? No, it's not. It just looks like it. A lot of people have asked that one tonight, Marge. Don't worry. It looks like it, but it's not. Okay. I just do this. I'm holding them all together on the salvage. And then I just shook it out. And I'll use my fingers to straighten it out. That one's kind of crooked right there. Come on. 
see it that way. There. And there. There we go. And now they should all be nice and equal enough. And flattening it all out now. All right, so I'm going to cut all the salvages off first at the same exact time, and then I'm going to come. And cut at 14 and then at 28 and then undo the rest. And I got to be very, very cautious because I need all the length I can get. Oh, this is going to suck. Re-straighten it again. It moved on me. Because to get three pieces, you need a 42-inch fabric and I only want to cut less than an inch off of my selvage, you know, so I definitely need all the space I can get. There we go. One more time. Nice and flat. There we go. Cut all this off at the same time. And I should get three 14 inch squares off of this. I'm going to line up with my 14. Make sure everything's nice and square, nice and square. Terry says, wow, you're so brave to cut it all at once. So here's seven of them so far. I'm just going to lay those back behind my chair. And then I, again, these have the fold, but I'm going to just pull very carefully over to the 28 and cut. And then Scott can just. Is that a new those. blade? Yeah. Why? They're asking. Oh, yeah. That's a question. It cuts through like a butter when they're new. Just like that. Barely yeah. any pressure, even. Are we getting off in two hours? Yeah, we're almost done. Well, we're almost at two hours. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to just open this up and I will get my last 14 inch square. I'm going to line this up right here. Everything's nice and lined up. My last stack of seven should land at 14 inches right here. This fabric was definitely longer than I needed. So this will all go in my strings, but I'll deal with that later. And put that there. Close that blade and start putting this together because it should go together super quick. So here's my diagram. You see that? Super simple. I'll put it on Facebook even with my scribbles because my scribbles are readable. <laughs> What I'm going to do. Can I move these every way now? Are we done cutting? Yeah. I need the room. So I'd be done right now. It's getting quite hot over here. This should go together. And this super thing needs quick. to go on the charger right now. I'm going to put it on my lap. Three of these go in the top. So I'm just going to take one of these, one of these, sew them together. There should be no seams to nest, so it should go together super fast. So it starts with that, and I made sure that my light color, my like lighter of the blues, is in my top corner. So again, I'm going to grab another one of these, and I'm going to make sure that my lighter blue, actually that one's too close to that one. 
I'm going to put my lighter blue up in that top corner again because I want them always up in my top left hand side. So I'm going to attach this. Is a rotary cutter easy on arthritic wrists? Yes. All right. Now I'm going to add another one of my big squares. What's that one called that you use? What? It's not called the regular. The Martel, it's the Martelli ergonomic cutter. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, that does not help. I popped thread. Give me a second to stick this back in the hole and I could start sewing again. If you are too afraid, you could always pin your super long 14 inch seam. <laughs> I'm not going to bother. All right, so I have one, two, let's add a third. Let's do this one. Again, I want my lighter color in the top corner. Let's put this one up in the top corner. Uh, Anita asks, I always seem to want to put the non patchwork fabric on the bottom when I sew them together. The seams don't flip. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. I just watch the seam. And technically, if the bed, if you have a, a, a lip on the bed of your table like this, even this one has it as a lip right here, no matter which way you put your seam, your bottom seam, um, if you had this on the bottom, that seam can still flip because it can get caught in there. They actually sell um, this right here. It's called the uh, Steady Betty, and it's this piece of sticker that you put on your machine bed between the lip, and it'll stop those flippings from happening. So just Google Steady Betty. I know I'm advertising so many products, but... Um, I don't, I'm not using it, but they sell a couple, there's a different, couple different brands, but that's the one I have. Um, it definitely helps, especially on that brother, because it flips seams, whether this is on the bottom or on the top. If it's on the top, I can at least control it. All right, and then this top row ends with one of these. So the big row one is now going to be done. I'm just lining it up. I'm just sewing my quarter and seam it. I'm holding the bottom still too, so that way everything stays nice and aligned. And I'm not back stitching because I really don't have the want to do that. So here's row one. I can't even hold it because it's so long. Like I said, it's supposed to be 81 by 95 when it's done. So now let's put row two together and so on and so forth. Can you like, actually, I'll just fold it and know that this is What do you want me to one. do? Oh, nothing. No, I'll do it. That way I can just pick them up off the floor. All right. So row two now starts with a solid. And and Teresa then, Louise is not a fan of the Steady Betty. She says she tried it and doesn't care for it. And then we'll add one of these. Again, I'm still going to keep my light colored blues. Always in my top left corner. I was just giving the general idea of the little things you can stop seeing flipping. Up, 
days flat. <laughs> this is why people pin. <laughs> But I'm not pinning. Now I'm going to add another one of these. Actually, I think that ended up in that one, so we're not going to put it in this one. We'll put this one over here. I'm trying to move them around a little. Like if you were using all scraps, this would be perfect, you know. Kind of like my really, uh, my um, uh, what's the video? My time lapse quote that I just did of scraps. You can do that with these squares. All scrap squares in between, and then just choose a nice prominent color as your main color, and it should look awesome. Nita asks, should you have the same number of solids as you have nine patches in each row, or do they alternate? No, it's the uh, it's the same. They all have five of the colors and four of the background fabric. No, she's talking about your big line, the nine patch, with the nine patch. How many solid pieces are you putting with the nine patch? There's four. Every single one. Oh, with these, I'm alternating. Yeah. That big one that you're just holding. How many of those are you putting in? Three and two. There's three and three. There's okay, six three total. Three. Six total. That's what yeah. she was asking. Oh, okay. Just every other row starts or ends with a four patch. I mean, a nine patch. Sorry. So this row ends with a nine patch. The last one started with one. So make this so that you guys can get a good general idea. I'm going to do this from my lap because it's easier because I'm rolling over things. I'm going to take my first row and my second row. I'm going to put them together, right sides together. Just stick this on my lap. And the only seams that I need to nest, even though I didn't press them yet, is the seams between the nine patch and the solid block. There's no other seams to nest on this whole entire thing. So I'm just going to come to my first seam and I'm going to put it where I want it, how I want it. And I'm just going to nest them with my finger without even pressing. And I'll sew to that seam. See, it slipped as soon as I hit the bed of my tray. Stop in that seam. Go to the next one because it is a 14-inch block. Put the seams the way. Hold it in my fingers. Stop in the seam, go to the next. It's so easy, so, so easy. A beginner can do this. And if you want to cut individual blocks, you can. The 14 inch, you don't have to stack all seven strips like I did. That's just how I roll. <laughs> I'm a daredevil. Stop in the seam, line up the next. I'm just making my seams go towards the big block. If you want to pin at every juncture, do it. This quilt froze super fast, literally. Oops, come 
on. Stay the way I put you. It wants to naturally go towards the big um, empty fabric. Eric, guess what stitch length you're using? It uh, 2.0. So row one and two are now together. I'm going to find the top. So you're going to see that the white's going to go, the lighter color is going to go one way, and then the darks are going to go the opposite direction, which I will get to when I get further. What color do you think you're going to quilt it with? White? White or blue or something. It's too blue. I don't know. All right, let's do the next row which starts with one of these. I'm gonna go further down with that guy. We're gonna start with one of How these. How many more rows do you have? There's seven. They should go pretty quick. Well, you can keep going, I don't have to. <laughs> I'm good at two hours. It's on you. <laughs> do you have a standard stitch point that you use? Huh? Do you have a standard stitch point that you use? Between one eight and two point zero, somewhere in that range. know that it's six across by seven down. One, two, put a third one in. Let's do this guy. six now to add it to the quilt which is all up here let's see one two four that's not how I started it that's how I started it mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta find that right side up block because I already put one of those in here. Didn't I? Yes, I did. So it does go that way. I had it the correct direction the first time. Kylie says you will have this top done in no time. Oh, yeah. Let's get this down here like that. these two ends up the way I had it in the first place. Well, we got three Australians on here right in a row. Look at that. All right. Did I dethread myself again? All right. So now I'm just going to add this on here. And I'll have three rows on. 
Yeah, I started it and now I'm just going to put the seam the way I want it and just hold it. Hold everything nice and flat. And the whole thing is seven rows? Total? What? The whole thing is seven rows total? Yeah. That's going to be huge. Right. That is going to be a big thing. Going to be a big dog. But it's simple and it's easy. There's this, see, if this were me, I would be laying it out, sewing it, crying because it's on wrong, then ripping, then sewing again. Nope, not me. You can do it, Eric. You can do it, yes. Kylie says, Tiffany, who's this top for? It's not for anybody. It's going to go for sale, probably. It could when be I for finally you, finish Kylie. It. Could be for you. If you are a blue lover, just know that it will be going Anyone that wants it. for sale when I'm finished. I think I'm even going to do the back blue. Because <laughs> I have so many different blue fabrics. I'm going to do the back all blue also. It'll just be that quilt that when you're feeling blue, you cover yourself up. <laughs> You're gonna sing that song, I'm blue, darling. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of that really blue you're singing? Or you can think of the Leanne Rhymes song, Blue. Blue, also awesome for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's Leanne Rhymes? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Jill says seam ripping isn't so bad after Tiffany showed us how to use it. Yeah. Teresa shows how to use it and Becca shows how to use it too. But I think we all learned from Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Except for my long arm seam ripping or quilt quilting. Seam ripping out quilting. I did show you guys how to seam rip out quilting on an unso Sunday. <laughs> That whole video that Sunday was dedicated to unsewing. <laughs> Not sewing, unsewing. Yep. I literally now have three rows together. And Julie asked, could you do this as a quilt as you go in rows, then sew them together? Yes, you can. Definitely. All right, I'm going to lay it up over here now so that it can just hang so that I know that that bottom corner is my bottom. I'm going to grab another one of these now. Again, I'm starting this one. This next row starts with a solid, so let's grab a solid. And put one of these on. And then just continue on down. <laughs> yeah, Teresa chimed in. They asked that it was her that showed you all the seam ripping tricks. Yep, it was. All right. Another one. Susan says you're inspiring her to make a large Irish chain quilt. This is like the super large deluxe. Let me tell you, you want a Big Mac? This is a big quilt <laughs> with big blocks. And again, these solid pieces, you can, sorry about the fold, I did not iron that, you know. You can embroider something really cool here, or you can applique something on there, or whatever. The sky's the limit. It's 14 inches. I mean, if you're going to embroidery or some on the embroidery machine, I would cut a 15-inch piece because you know that the thread's going to suck it down in size, and you got to fit it in your hoop, so... But uh, in that case, you're going to need like more than five yards of fabric. <laughs> but it would look really awesome. And then if you want to just keep them like this and then applique something on afterwards, that would be really awesome too. Uh, let's do uh, this one. 
I'm just guessing where these are gonna go. If they don't end up in a spot that looks whatever, oh well, because I'm not changing it. <laughs> So it's seven total strips by how many blocks in each strip? It's six across by seven down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six across by seven down. And your nine patches every other block. And I stopped at this size because you guys, like I said, you can use four charm packs, which is a layer cake worth, but you're going to have an even bigger quilt. You do Instead, you'll be doing... Uh, seven across by eight down, but at 14 inch blocks, just remember you're gonna have a king size quilt Because this one's already 80 by 95 which is this uh, The length of a, tw a queen bed is already 80 inches in length. That's 60 width So this is gonna have hangover But once I add a border It's definitely gonna be Big to fit on a queen beautifully hanging over the sides Nita asks, she says, I'm wondering why you did not go with an odd number of the 14-inch blocks in each row. That way the nine patch blocks or the solid blocks would be in each corner. Um, because it wouldn't have landed, no, it would have landed with that one, but it wouldn't have landed in one corner with, um, yeah, it would have had to been even and even. It would have had been seven across by seven down for it to end up in each corner. Um, if that be the case, it would have been super large and I didn't have enough um, blue fabric, honestly. I had to make sure I knew I was going to have enough. Bonnie asks, uh, what color is gray you going to quilt it with? Same question I asked. Probably blue. Really? One. I two, think the white would look nice. Three, She's going four, blue, five, six. Probably a blue or a white. I'm not sure. Let me put this right here. Along this. It's growing so fast. Yeah, but you still got like four more to make. Yeah, I could have not made it six. I could have made it five across by six down or seven down. But then it would be really long and skinny. I don't know. I didn't end it with them because, like I said, I needed to make sure I had enough of the fabric. And I wasn't sure how much I actually had. So. You're going to be at least a half hour. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Want me to hold that then so I can read comments? Not really. Oh. It'll still look cool. No, this one totally different. Um, they don't sell Studio E fabric at Walmart. This was my pricey collection of fabric. You guys can see down under there, that's my pricey collection of fabric. It's all the expensive stuff like I normally buy at Walmart and um, Hobby Lobby and Joann's and whatever I can afford, like Benertex and stuff. 
sometimes moda which i can get at you know hobby lobby it's a different it's a different feel than the actual moda from other companies though um, but every now and then again i come across the a bolt of um good stuff and i just stick it aside it's like maywood studios and this one studio e and i have a couple other brands down there and I, I use them sparingly. Because <laughs> on the normal, I can't afford them. It's typically over $7 a yard. So I can't afford that kind of stuff on the norm. Unless it's on sale or something somewhere. still the bottom so so far it is quite big already you can see i'm just gonna again place this over there that way i know that this is my top at all times so the next row what am i at one two three four so i'm on five one two three four five so i start with one of these this time where's that block that i know needs to be upright we'll do this one All right, so I'm starting with this and then two more rows after this. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and chain piece. So the next one will be starting with this on the bottom, because that's three rows worth that I'll just do real quick. All at the same time. Start with one of those. Scott disappeared with the comments, so I have no idea what any of you are saying. All right, so now I'm going to come back to the top. I'm literally just going to chain piece all this together now. Why? Because I can. I want this one up in the top corner. This. Grab this one. This one gets the volume. You guys are watching a big huge quilt being made right before your very eyes today. I think the only thing I'll do off screen is adding borders. How's your bobbin doing? Um, it probably is going to start running low soon because I just put it in pretty much when I finished the piecing of the nine packages. This machine doesn't have a bobbin uh, warning like some, huh? Linda left the tank top back today. Oh, thank you. Patricia asked, what are you making? I am making a giant... Irish chain. Then ask, are you going to quilt this or do you send them out? Uh, no, I have my own long arm. I quilt all of my own quilts. And it's all you? All free motion, no computer. I have gotten into pantographs recently, but I don't actually 
use them all the time. I've only done like five quilts with, oops, sorry, I'm talking to myself. Uh, I only done like five quilts with the pantographs. And yes, I am chain piecing these big, huge blocks for anybody that's like, what is she doing? It's actually not that hard to web piece these together. Huh? Your Irish train quilt is a single, single. I was thinking of a double when I first um, started thinking large blocks, but then I was like, well, these will, the blocks will go, blah, blah, blah. I will go through so much so fast if I did it that way. So I just decided to do um, single. Large answer to the king. It will be almost king size. It'll be nice queen size. It'll already have about um, 10 inches hanging on each side of a bed, but most people have like 14 inch deep mattresses, so this will cover that for a queen nicely once it has borders. Almost done. Sew these rows all together and then I will sew them to that thing. And then, if I have plenty of time, maybe I can throw the borders on. All right, one more pass. This one will get this. Look. That one's no for getting tired. Huh? And that one's no for getting tired. Nope. Not yet. And Eric wants to know if you're putting borders on this. I'm thinking I will, yes. I don't know if I'll do it today or off camera. We'll see how much longer it takes me to put the last one, these three rows together and then on to the big one. I don't know how long I've been on. I know it's been over two hours. Because Scott took the comments and is now sitting on the couch, I think. All right, so with these all hooked together, what I'm just gonna do Cut these together right here. I'm just going to leave everything together. I'm just going to turn this and I'm going to sew these together and then sew this piece onto it and so on and so forth. So, how big are your borders? I'm probably going to do a two and a half inch border of this blue and then do a, I know this seems like so much of this blue, but a two and a half inch border of the blue and then I'm going to find a blue and white fabric to finish it off with a second border, probably five inches because everything else is five inches. So why not? It'll look more symmetry that way. So it'll be like 90, 
three or four, 94 ish by. A hundred and nine. Something like that. I'm not sure because my math sucks. It'd be somewhere around there. falling off my table because they like to vibrate off because I sew so fast. And I know some of you probably want to go go night night and stuff like that so feel free to leave if you need to. Um, be just a few more minutes for those that are just going to stick around until at least this part is all done. All right, so I'm going to open this up now. And then grab this and this, put them together. Auntie Ann says you need shock absorbers for your machine. Yeah. Cassandra ordered the purple binding wheel thingy. She says thank you. All right. So I'm just going to keep. Hooking these together. I should have probably put that on top, but I didn't. Huh. I'll just reach underneath and straighten it out. My hand is literally between the pieces. Straighten it up. hungry though. For someone who asked if I was tired, I am hungry. So I think that is what I'm going to do when I am done sewing this set onto that. I'm not even going to press the project because it's big and once I hold it up it should lay just sort of nice. You guys will see the finished product when I'm show you in next Sunday or something since I am going to add borders to it. Technically one more seam after this. Oops. Okay, don't move, thank you. All right, so now this will hook to down here. I'm actually going to 
bring this and this up here together. So we're going to put this up here like that. And I'm going to pick this piece like this and put it right sides together with that. So now I'm just putting the two almost tabs together. And I'll have made a very large quilt in one video. Look at that. So anything about once your quilt top gets heavy, 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 is start falling off of your table. So if you have a machine that doesn't have a bed, just know that you're going to have some yanking going on and you should hold everything very nicely and steady as you sew it because it's best if it goes on your lap and on a table for those that are new, you know. And if you're sewing in a room that's like super hot, be very aware because you will get warmed up with all the fabric sitting bunched up on your lap. But if you live somewhere with cool weather, it might keep you warm. to reach my hand in between the two layers. Further, there we go. Again, I still don't have comments because Scott is not in here. Because that way it got flipped on the far end of the machine. Just a little bit more to go. All right, the last big square being sewn together now. have it folks I have made a very large quilt in one video boys can I have you hold this up please again I will add borders later for now I'm just gonna have Scott hold it up so that you guys can see the whole thing in full and then um Gertrude says I had the day off and I'm spending it quilting my scrap CJ I'm not pressing it guys so it may look a little weird at first A big beast. Hold on, you guys are going to see, and once I add borders, it's going to be even bigger than this. Right now it's not pressed, but here we go. They're all amazed how quick you did this. Hold on. They're kind of crooked, so give me a second to twist this. We're crooked? Yeah, you guys are. If you step back, Scott, they won't be as crooked. Okay. So you can see the lighter colors are coming down this way and the darker colors are kind of 
doing whatever they do. Sorry for the squeak. That's the sound of my thingy. So it just needs to be pressed and it's going to get some borders. So it could have ended if I had more squares with one more row this way, but then it would be way too big. As you can see, it's huge. All right, so let's put this back this way. Can we bring it down? Yeah. And just to make sure that my math was correct. We're all saying pretty and loving it. And so pretty. So it's, it's just a big block iris chain. That's all. Oh, that's way past that. I'm going to make sure that my numbers are sort of accurate. If this side is good, then that means the rest was 41 and 41. 82. 82. So it's 82 instead of 81 and a half, it's 82. So this is probably going to be like 96 then. Instead of 95. So that means I was off by a half an inch, you know, which isn't bad actually because my math usually really, really sucks. 47 and 47. Uh, 94. Really? So 82 by 94 instead of 95. Okay. That works. And then it's going to get borders. So I'll do a two and a half and then I'll choose a blue to be um, a five inch border the rest of the way around. So there's a quarter of it right there. Nice, simple, plain quilt. Look at that. That needs to be ironed. I'll do it after I add borders. Well, you're getting amazing and awesome and looks fantastic and beautiful. And, uh, did you use charm packs in your last? You can use charm packs. I use uh, squares from my personal pre-cuts that I make. I make my own um, squares. So I use... Oh man, I just realized that two stars were next to each other. Oh well, it's okay. Oh well. T's on. I really don't care. It works out. See, you just made it as we're getting off, but you made it. <laughs> I like it. It doesn't flow exactly like I thought it would in my head because I should have used lighter fabrics, but that's okay. That whole entire empty space right here. All these empty spaces gives me the option to quilt something really nice in every single empty space and I'll add borders and I'm just going to grab a blue that has some kind of white in it fabric and add those and then be done. So I'll just use as many strips as I need of this to go around two and a half inches and then I'll add the five inch because I need a separation from the one side that does have blocks ending. Um, that's it, guys. I'm done. I'm going to go eat. I'm hungry. And I got pizza that needs to be in the microwave for a <laughs> while. So, uh, Sunday, next Sunday, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Uh, don't forget, next Sunday is not the, the, uh, is it? It's next Sunday, right? No, it's not next Sunday. Next Sunday, I am announcing the 4K it? giveaway, but I'm having a quilt show de stash. So if you want to purchase a quilt for me, get your pocketbooks ready. If not, um, just watch I will give you the thing. Quilts. You can just watch and see the quilts. You in don't the have chat. to buy anything, it's just um, chat and look at Tiffany's quilts. The and then I'll announce how to, um, uh, how to do the form so that you can enter the giveaway because it's going to be a form to fill out instead of me writing your names down so that's next week and i'll announce how that giveaway for my 4k giveaway goes other than that i'm gonna get off of here i'm hungry so thanks for watching if you're new subscribe like my videos and share them with your quilty friends and don't forget i will be changing the name of this video to big block irish chain that way you guys can find it later but it'll still be a So Sunday video. So, bye everybody.
Goodbye. Oh. Good night. I can turn it off. I'm right Please here. Turn it off. Well, I was typing. I was typing.